Hey guys, welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm gonna show you the easy way and a much better way that I use to fade in or fade out your music tracks in Camtasia. But before I get started, I've got a really quick announcement. This Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time will be my first attempt at live streaming here on YouTube. I've been talking about it for quite some time, so I think it's finally time I give it a go. My plan is to show you some live examples of editing videos in Camtasia, as well as answering any questions you might have, questions about the equipment I use and how I use it, or maybe questions on freelancing or specifically Fiverr, or even questions about posting videos on YouTube or live streaming. Any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer them as best as I can. I'm planning on one hour live stream, but it may go longer depending on how many questions I have. And then moving forward, my plan is to live stream once a week. So if you're around this Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time, feel free to stop in and say hello. It's gonna be a little outside my comfort zone. I've never done this before, but it'll be fun. Okay, with that said, back to the quick tip on fading audio in and out. Okay, here we are in Camtasia. And as you can see, I've already got a project open. Now, first thing I wanna do is I wanna add a audio track for my music. So I like to add these audio tracks, music audio tracks at the bottom. So let's come down here to track one and I'm gonna right click and then click insert track below. That inserts a new track below. So this is where I'm going to add some music. Now let's come up here to the media bin. I've already imported some music to use. So here it is here, lo-fi relaxing study music. Let's bring this down to the bottom track. So oftentimes what I like to do is add a fade in effect at the beginning of a video and then a fade out effect at the end. So the quick and easy way to do that is you come up here to audio effects, click on that. And then in here you can see two tools, fade in and fade out. There are other tools as well, but these are the two that I'm talking about in this video. So to add a fade in effect to the beginning of this audio track, simply click the fade in tool and drag it down to the track and release. And there you can see, if I just zoom in here a little bit, you can see here there's a slow fade in. This green line represents the volume of the audio in, in the track. And so it's going to start from zero and ramp all the way up to, and you can click here and it says 100%. Get my headphones on. Let me just click play here to see what this sounds like. See how it ramped up there? That's a fade in. Now to add a fade out, and we're gonna to go to the end of the video. Let's put our playhead very close to the end. Let's zoom in. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is, so this music track is too long. The video ends here, but the music track keeps going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to trim the end of the music track so that it lines up with the end of the video. Now, if I play the end, you notice how the music ends abruptly. Well, we don't like that. We want to add a fade out. So we come back up here to the audio effects, click and drag the fade out tool. And there you can see it automatically added the fade out. Just like that. And that's the easy way to add a fade in and a fade out effect to the audio track or the music track in your videos. So now let me show you the better way to do this. The better way gives you a little bit more control. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to remove this audio track and start afresh. Let's go back up to the media bin, drag the audio track back down again. So our fade in and fade out effects that we added previously are no longer there. And now what I'm gonna do, let's zoom into the beginning. Let's concentrate on this beginning part here first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click somewhere on the audio track, let's say here. And I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna select add audio point. So I've added an audio point there. You can see there's already an audio point at the beginning. And now what you can do with these, you can move them side to side, but you can also move them up and down. And you can see how it affects the volume of the entire audio track. So what I can do now is I can take this leftmost point, audio point, and drag it down, and there's my fade in effect. So now you might be thinking, well, that was a few more steps. Well, how, how is this a better way? Well, the reason is I don't usually just like to add a fade in. I usually like to add a few more things as well. So in addition to a fade in, and in fact, let's just listen to this track. So that fade in is nice. Notice how we can drag this to the left or to the right, depending on how fast we want it to fade in. But now with this video, if we keep watching, this is just the intro. 
Hello and welcome. There, and at about this point here, at about six seconds in, I come on screen and start talking. Well, I want the music to stick around, but I don't want it to be as loud there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the playhead right about here, just about a half a second or so before I start speaking. And you can see where I start speaking right here by looking at the audio waveforms right here. So at this point, I'm going to right click my mouse again and add another audio point. And then I'm going, and then right before I start speaking, I'm going to click right click and add another audio point again. And now what this will allow me to do is drag this part down to a much lower volume. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I have the music fading in, playing at 100% throughout the intro, and then fading back down, not out completely. And let me just zoom in here so we can see. Not out completely, and it's just going to hang around there at, what do I have it at? 24, 20% or so. So let's hear what that sounds like. Hello, and welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. You can still hear the music in the background. So that's another example, or that's one example of what we can do with more control with these audio points. Okay, another little thing that I like to do is I don't like this music playing throughout the entire video. Not in this case. Some videos, some video tutorials, uh, we do want that, and that's fine. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to use this as intro music, and I'm going to bring it back for the outro or the ending of the video. So I'm going to let this play for a little while longer Hello, before I start to fading Camtasia it out. Quick tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I think that's a good point right there to start the final fade out to zero. So we'll add another audio point there. And let's make this a long fade out. Add an audio point here. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down to zero, which means the audio is completely gone. And in fact, I'm going to delete, I'm going to type the S key and split this audio track right here and delete this part because we don't need that anymore. There, now let's see what that sounds like. Up more. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that was recently posted on my comments, and it is as There we go, and that fades right down to nothing. And that's it. So that's, that's my intro. That's usually what I like to do to the beginnings of my videos in terms of the music track. Now let's go to the end. So as you can see, we've deleted the entire audio. There's something special here that I want to do to the ending. I'm going to use the same audio track but because this has all of these audio points added on, I'm just going to drag a fresh copy of the same music track. Here we go. Let me just put the playhead towards the ending here. So what I usually like to do here is, just as I stop speaking and the end screen pops on, I want that end screen to pop on basically during a drop beat or when, when the beat of the, of the music kicks in. So what I'm, let me show you what I mean. So what we want to do is listen to this music and we want to try to identify a nice place where uh, a beat drops in and we want to put that right here. So let's just listen. And you can tell where there's beats by the, looking at the audio form here. Now these beats here are at the beginning of the, of the song. I'm just going to zoom out here. Let's just sample a couple places. Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to I want to use the one towards the end here. Okay, so I think right around there is where I'm going to want it to come in. So let's just for now, let's just split this track here and delete the beginning part. And then let's move this and let it snap into place at the end here. Now let's zoom in and see what we've got. Okay, if you know let's zoom in even further. We want that beat, and we can see it here in the waveform. It's right there. We want that to occur right when this scene changes from myself there to that screen there. So what we do is I'm going to put my playhead right here, and I'm going to click and drag this so that it lines up. See what that sounds like. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. Um, but. I don't want the music just to start here. I want to be able to have it fade in. Just how it faded out at the beginning, 
Uh, I want the music to slowly fade back in, but then come in with a pop during that beat. So here's how we're gonna do that. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. I'm going to, now that we have this where we want it, I'm going to stretch this here. Remember we split it, so that information is still there on the left side of the, uh, of the uh, music track. Let's bring it back to around here. Is that where we want the music to start to Tips. come in? And I'll see you in the next video. Jim, and be sure to subscribe for more Camtasia. I think I want the music to start back here. So let's bring it all the way back here. Now I want it to start at a very low volume. So we're gonna to have to start adding our uh, audio points. So right click, click to add an audio point. That's gonna be at zero. And then I'm gonna slowly ramp up. Probably, let's, let's ramp up here, add another one here. I'm gonna add another one. So the idea is this first one will start at zero. And then this one I'm going to have ramp up. Oh, let's go back up to the 20% we were at the beginning. Hold the 20% level until almost the very end. Add an audio point here and let's add another one right at the, the beat drop. Okay, and then here is where we want to really have it come in at 100%. Well, you don't want to go too high. This You'll have some clipping here. So let's just keep it at 100% or thereabouts. Okay, and let's make that nice and tight. Now let's see what this sounds like. And be sure to subscribe for more Camtasia quick tips, and I'll see you in the next video. I think that was good. Actually, I think it, it can come in a little faster even. Let's drag this over. Let's try that. Video. I like that. So, okay, now, one last thing. If we go right to the end of the video, the video ends here, but the music kept playing on. So let's split this music track here, delete the end, and then drag this back so it finishes right at the same time the video does. Okay, once again, here's where we wanna add our fade out effect. Again, we can either drag it down from the audio effects or I've just gotten in the habit of using audio points. Just right click and select add audio point. And it might be a little longer if you're just doing one little effect like this, but uh, audio points are certainly handy when doing more complex moves with the, with the volume like we did over here and at the beginning. So let's see what that sounds like. Actually, let's have this take a longer time to fade out to nothing. Whoops. There, I think that's great. That's it for now. Remember to stop in this Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern for my first ever live streaming event. I'll spend about an hour going through some Q&As as well as some video editing in Camtasia. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Camtasia quick tips. And if you like my content, do me a favor and hit the like button. I'll see you soon.